Coast, let's give it up for Amber Hendricks. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Give it up for Tara one more time. Yeah, and RVA Community Fridges, right? Clap it up for uh, mutual aid, right? Very important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where are my irritable bowel babies at? Yeah, my IBS girlies? Or as I like to call us, little bowel owls. Yeah. Um, if you have a fucked up GI system, right? Like you're kind of surprised that other people in the world do not, right? Like I was filling out paperwork for a vaccine recently. We don't have to get into which one. Uh, it was for rabies, okay? I'm considered high risk, okay? Um, but there was a question on this paperwork, okay? And it was like, have you had diarrhea in the last seven days? And check boxes for yes or no. And I was like, whoa, there are people on this planet <laughs> who are confidently checking no. And I have had diarrhea in the last seven minutes. Okay. Check the waiting room. I'm having it right now. Okay. Um, I used to live up in New York City. People have heard of it? Yeah, a few people. It's a cool place, right? If you want to check it out, no rush, but cool. Yeah, uh, took public transportation, as you do, right? Like, tried to keep to myself, and I was on the subway one day, and this man was, like, muttering, and he was becoming increasingly agitated, and I was like, okay, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Do not look at him. And I looked at him. Okay. <laughs> And he was looking at me. <laughs> and he pointed and said, yeah, I'm talking about you. You arts and crafts motherfucker. <laughs> and I was like, okay, fair. <laughs> I feel seen. Um, I do get up to New York pretty frequently. I have a niece and nephew there. They also have parents. Who cares, <laughs> right? Parents are not cute, all right? I love my niece and nephew. My nephew is 11 now, okay? And he has a cell phone, which, yeah, I feel like down here, like, that's not as typical, but he's walking himself to school every day, like a mile there, a mile back. A lot of protective apps on this cell phone. But he took the cell phone, okay? And he set up a three-generation family group chat. Really cute, right? And he did this using the Signal app. Yeah, are people familiar? Maybe, a couple people, they don't want to admit it, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're not familiar, it's just a free messaging app that's like encrypted end to end. And we're like, all right, what does he want to talk about? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Should we be worried? On the day that Queen Elizabeth died, okay, my nephew was the first one to alert the group chat. <laughs> Totally true story, okay? He did this by writing, in all caps, the queen is dead. It is about time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my mother, his grandmother, okay, she wrote back, okay, <laughs> I know that her family is responsible for some bad things. <laughs> But I like to think of her as she was most recently. Just an older lady who loved animals. <laughs> Hot take from my mom, right? My nephew did not miss a beat, okay? I wrote back, loving horses and corgis does not make up for generations of genocide and colonialism. <laughs> and I responded, Fire emoji. <laughs> fire emoji. Fire emoji. Because that is a fire take. And also the queen is in hell. Okay. <laughs> Later that night, I DM'd my nephew, okay? 
via the Signal app, let's keep it secure. <laughs> Sent him some writings by an Italian Marxist. I said, hey, you may be interested in the concept of cultural hegemony. <laughs> and my nephew wrote back, yo, I'm 11. <laughs> I'll get him later, right? I'll wait till he gets his first minimum wage job, okay? <laughs> um, do people remember the first pandemic of the 21st century? Mm, yes. Yes? Okay, maybe. Yeah, no, there's some really good answers out there, but I don't know. <laughs> Let me take you back to September 2014, okay? when everybody with an iTunes account woke up to an unsolicited download of a U2 album. <laughs> yeah. And in his official apology, because this was very controversial, right? Like people were rightfully upset. In his official apology on Facebook, Bono did say, oops, right? Oops. Yeah, and I haven't figured out how to finish this joke yet, and let me just be totally candid with that and open. Um, but some of you may not have had devices at that time, all right? We are nearing the 10th anniversary, so grief is not linear. For some of us, it's like it was just yesterday. <laughs> So, be kind to us, okay, in a few months. Um, the name of that album, does anybody remember? Songs of Innocence, okay. Yuck, okay. All right, I'm working on that joke. Anybody watching Love is Blind? Yes! Yes, 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 yeah, crazy. Yeah, season six, all right. We got one in the front row watching it, one dedicated watcher, anybody else? Couple, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're in. You okay? Yeah, it's okay. You can admit it. Like it's fine. Like we can do a lot of good things and also still watch Love Is Blind. <laughs> yeah. So if you are watching it, or if you like, are most people familiar with the premise? I guess I should ask that. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's a dating show. It's in its season six now. Um, so the people who are dating, they cannot see each other during like the in these like introductory periods or having these dates. And so it's supposed to like cut away all the superficial stuff and they just get to know each other, like get to know each other's souls and things like that. Um, so there's this one couple, all right? And, and the man is, who cares, right? But, <laughs> but the woman for some reason like, decides to tell him that some people think I look like Megan Fox, right? Yeah, and she's super cute, that's not the point, right? But like, she doesn't look like Megan Fox, okay? <laughs> Most of us don't, and that's fine, right? So I think if I were on that show, like in a world where I go on Love is Blonde, all right, let's picture it, okay? I would wanna keep expectations really, really low. <laughs> like if it ever came up what I looked like, okay? Like ground level low. I'd be like, hey, do you remember that old cartoon Popeye? <laughs> well, they made a film about it. <laughs> it was directed by Robert Altman. He also directed a 1967 film called Countdown, starring Robert Duvall, who had previously played a character named Boo in an on-screen adaptation of the film, or the novel, To Kill a Mockingbird. And in this film, this character, Boo, saved a little child named Scout, who was dressed as a ham, and that's what I look like. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. Okay. Uh, bumper stickers are kind of sad, am I right? Yeah, bumper stickers are messages to strangers. <laughs> who have not consented to know anything about you. Um, the ones I hate the most are the ones that rely on hypotheticals, like, if you can read this, you're too damn close. First off, watch your language. I am 
a child, okay? <laughs> and I'm getting closer to your vehicle to read your special message to me. <laughs> if it is dark out, I'm gonna turn on my high beams, okay? <laughs> Um, I do drive a lot. Uh, I drive for like work and stuff, and I always use Google Maps, okay? Because I like to like be aware of my surroundings. And I love, like really love, to confirm speed traps, right? <laughs> like it feels like a civic duty. <laughs> because if you see something, something. say something. <laughs> and I see, a police state. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's true. It's all, you don't have to laugh. Um, all right. I'll go out on this. It's going. It was going well, and then it took a turn. Um, all right. I think the first time uh, you give a man a blowjob, if you feel like doing that, okay, you should make this noise. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Just so he knows you've got that dog in you. Maybe I'll put a little peanut butter on there. Really keep me invested. All right, y'all have been awesome. Thank you so much. My name is Amber Hendricks. I bring Clara back up. Thank you.